The accounting trick is known as Repo 105, and the bankruptcy examiner says the technique led to the collapse of Lehman Brothers. Now, 18 months after Lehman crumbled in the biggest corporate bankruptcy in U.S. history, the Securities and Exchange Commission wants to know whether any of the 19 largest U.S. banks are using the trick. It's not at, it's not at all clear that what Lehman was doing um, satisfied any of the then current accounting and disclosure requirements. So that's obviously very much a subject of our ongoing investigation. But if there is an accounting loophole here, if there is no reason to ever allow a sale where there is a repurchase in the future, we will look very carefully at that and work with the accounting standard setters to see if that's something that should be absolutely cut off and prohibited. The government's report found Lehman put together complex securities and then sold them at the end of the quarter avoiding the scrutiny of regulators and shareholders. Then the bank quickly repurchased those same securities, hence the term repo. The hearing also focused on the fallout from Lehman. School districts, local governments and hospitals lost millions in the collapse. Pressed by lawmakers, Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner said reimbursing such investors would be considered if the law allows. I do not believe I have the authority under TARP as you know, we've talked about this many times, to directly compensate municipal authorities for their losses on the Lehman investments. If we uh, give you I, the authority, will you do it? Uh, uh, if, if Congress writes authority that uh, asks me to do that, of course I would do that. All right. Lawmakers also used the hearing to spar over the Obama administration's push for financial regulation reform. Republicans asserted that regulators' failure to prevent Lehman's collapse is proof that the proposed financial reforms won't work either. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.